name is Jeremy Miller, and I'm a Vista with AmeriCorps, and my station is with Adventure Fayette County. All summer we've had events going on called Adventure Days, and so we've been in parks in all around the county. One of the biggest barriers for any of our kids in the county is transportation, um, getting out to any kind of event. So we decided to, we would overcome that barrier and bring the event to the kids. So we're up here at the Pine Knoll Apartments, and we've got all kinds of volunteers doing any number of things from yoga to handing out backpacks for school and so that's what we're doing we brought a pop we're calling them a pop-up <laughs> and we did a pop-up adventure day up here at Pine Knoll Apartments. Uh, adventure Fayette County is a subcommittee of the Fayette Prevention Coalition and which is also under the the Fayette Resource Network or the Family Resource Network that we are in and so part of our, our goal is really drug prevention all right and so we do that by giving them healthy alternatives and making sure that they're involved in other things in the community so when we can get Coda Mountain up here playing music, that gives them an alternative. If we get um, parents as teachers up here doing yoga with the kids, which they're doing back there, that gives them an alternative. And so one of the things we want to get them out of the house, get them active, get them doing something, but also kind of get them engaged. So one of the things is it's not really a babysitting type service. We want the parents, caregivers to be involved. We've been doing this all summer. We're hoping to have some more programming coming in the fall. So we brought our big brain out for the kids to explore and just try to provide brain safety education and try to do some injury prevention. So we prevent traumatic brain injuries from happening and increase like kids wearing helmets and just making safe decisions. This is all done through volunteers, right? So there's not people out here that are getting paid to do this. And so Fayette County has been great in taking care of their own, and that's what we need to do. We need to own this, right? And so when the when people from Fayette County get involved and they come out and, and they get involved in their communities, great things happen.